Hey everyone, it's Tango Oscar Mike, and I've been promising to make this video. Uh, <laughs> this is my Juma PA100D. This is an all band 100 watt amplifier. Now I've been told that you can get more than 100 watts out of these, but uh, I just wanted it for a little extra power. Uh, I operate QRP, but my club participates in some special event stations. We actually have one coming up here. Uh, starting July 2nd, we are going to be Whiskey 3 Rebellion for the Whiskey Rebellion Festival here in Washington County in southwestern Pennsylvania. And it's going to go from July 2nd until July 14th. So use ham alert, set up an alert. Uh, so you can uh, catch us on the air. Uh, this amplifier weighs, with the power cord, weighs three pounds, one ounces. And you can see how nice and small this amplifier is. There's no tuner in this amplifier. There's a nice heat sink and a fan on the back. You have a B and C connector for your antenna and your transmitter. Uh, you have your band, your RS-232, and your transmit receive jacks there. Um, let me turn this on, hear the fan kick on. So you can set this for the display in megahertz or you can set it for display in meters as well. You have your band up and down, so you can go up and down the bands. Now when I say all bands, this is 10 through 160. Uh, you can also set it for auto, so it will auto detect the frequency you're on. That's That works with some radios, but not all radios. Um, it comes, it starts up in standby and you can put it in operational mode just by pressing that button. This is your display and configure. If I short press it, it'll change the display. Uh, now it's showing the SWR meter instead and this little bar graph will go depending on which screen you're on. There's the power screen. There's the amps screen, temperature, and uh, we're basically back. If I press and hold this in, it's gonna take me into the configuration screen. This is F-Sense, and you'll, you might find this interesting. It has a setting for the FT817, and it has a setting for the KX3, and also for the Juma TXX2, which is their transmitter. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that there. There's the baud rate for the serial port. Serial port is off for this setup. I'm using this with my 705. Uh, the backlight display and contrast. The SWR trip, you can adjust all these settings. Uh, if it's uh, if your SWR is over three, the amplifier will stop transmitting. As you can see, you can change that with the up and down. Fan control, there's normal, high, and medium, and off. Temperature units is in Fahrenheit. Over temperature is 158. If the temperature of the amplifier gets over 158, it won't operate. Fan cut in and is at 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, again, display, it can be in meters or it can be in megahertz. I have it in meters. Uh, graphical limits display, that's that bar graph you are seeing. And that that's pretty much it. And if I go here, it'll go out. And I don't want to save the settings that I put in there. But this has been a great amp with five watts out of my 705 on 20 meters. I'm getting about 58 watts out. Uh, all the other bands are kind of the same depending on the band it goes up or down and depending on how my antenna is tuned for that band, that'll affect it as well. I don't use a tuner. All my antennas are under uh, three to one uh, across the band. So I don't use a tuner. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but it's been a great little amplifier. It has these little legs that you can put up. I should have done that in the beginning so I can just set it there. Um, but it has been a really nice little amplifier. My understanding that these are very hard to get. I mentioned to a club member that I was looking for a 50 watt amp just so I can contribute a little bit for the special event stations. And he said, hey, I have this amp that I'm not using. He actually bought this from another member of our club. So I'm getting it at least third hand and I got a great deal on it. So that's why I bought it. Uh, without a tuner, this is more expensive than some of the other 100 watt amps you might find out there. I think it's more expensive than the, the Zygu and some other ones. Um, and it's obviously more expensive than some of the cheap 50 watt amplifiers out there like the Micro PA 50 Plus. 
And then there's the, uh, the what is it, the MX-50. I, I can't remember. It's the one that's all over eBay that uh, everybody has used. But this has been fantastic. I'm very happy to have it. And uh, I'll try to show you some operating with it in the future.